All right, y'all, Professor X here. This is a little follow-up video to the Shad Gaspard racism airlines issue I talked about. Uh, as you know, uh, Shad Gaspard and ACH had, had exchanged words on Twitter. And here's what Shad Gaspard uh, uh, said. On that note, shut the fuck up. If all you can do is badmouth and talk down people and the business after people have gone out, out of their way to understand and help you, then fuck off. Talent gets you so far in life, but it's obvious your character is is one of attention-seeking ass who wants sympathy while burning others. Grow up and understand the world doesn't revolve around you. This business as well as life doesn't, doesn't cater to one individual. So either suck it up and do something or shut the fuck up because this bipolar crying shit is getting old. When replied to on the fact that ACH cannot be, be attention-seeking and have a mental illness, she had expanded on the idea, stating that a certain uh, a certain point, common sense has to come into play. Well, Shad, uh, here's something else you, know, you should know. If you had any common sense, you should know that that that, that gimmick that you and uh, JTG were uh, were tagged with uh, was racist. And as far as the business doesn't cater to one individual, or in life, the business does cater to one individual. It caters to Vince McMahon since he pretty much owns. Uh, owns the majority of the business. You know, the biggest company has the most money. Of course, I don't know how much longer that's going to last now that he's lost $1 billion in market value and is being investigated by two different law firms. But you say the attention-seeking and crying is is getting old. No, he wasn't, he wasn't seeking attention and he's not crying. He was just calling out obvious uh, uh, racism, which was symbolized through a shirt that blatantly insults all black people, in my opinion. But uh, to house niggas like you and others, and of course the uh, crackers in the community, and one particular I, I responded to, yeah, Brad the Cracker, yeah, you. You played off as like, oh, he's crying. He's an attention-seeking. I don't see it, you know. And you say people have gone out of the way to help him? Uh, I don't think so. If making a shirt like that is is going out of going out of the way to help somebody uh, uh, by making a shirt and insulting them, I mean, please, no, that's not going out of the way uh, uh, to help him. And I don't see, I haven't seen nobody in the business uh, go out of the way uh, to help him. He he was an NXT uh, NXT superstar. He was in developmental, so he wasn't probably going to get called to the main roster anytime soon. But on that note, ACH Jordan Miles are, are responded uh, to Shad. I'm the heart of the heartless, a leader, and more importantly, I'm just a man who could care less about how I make you feel. Amen to that, brother. To all my supporters, I see you. Shout out to all of you. This shirt is empowering uh, me to make change. I have voiced my feelings about things openly. You betcha. Do I plan on apologizing? Not at all. I'm not crying. I'm not whining. I'm standing up for my beliefs. Don't like it? Unfollow and block. Keep throwing your rocks and stones at me. It's hard to hit me when I'm this high up. Best wrestler in the world vibes. Okay, and of course, prior to this, he took several shots at former WWE superstar Shad Gaspard, who had told ACH to shut the fuck up and grow up. Of course, uh, yeah, of course. ACH had photoshopped his racist t-shirt onto Gaspard's face and posted several uh, uh, Joker gifts to Shad's tweets. And of course, uh, apparently, however, Gaspard isn't going to get into an, another back and forth with the former NXT wrestler. Instead, he issued a statement about mental health and his own battles with uh, a depression. I'm not going to respond to Albert. I don't Twitter fight. That's childish. What I would like to say to people watching this situation, understand that mental health is a condition millions of people uh, uh, deal with every day, including myself at times, including periods of deep depression. Those who want help go out and seek it then they then look for help through others we do not hide behind it or make excuses for our actions better mental health is a daily exercise of accountability with support not pointing the finger at all others or lashing out at supporters or photoshopping racist images oh so you do mean uh, oh so you do think the, the shirt was racist why didn't you say so in the first place that's all you had to do you and ACH uh, 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 could have uh, could started a, a movement. Instead, of course, me and others have started it already. Okay, to 
Let's continue his quote. For those who want help, I applaud you. For those who don't, I say with experience that nothing negative you do now will help you. At some point, you will either re realize this and seek help and make amends with those you've hurt or or not and go down a path that will spiral that will spiral down hurting no one but yourself. You will continue to shun those who love you until you're all alone. I hope you choose the former rather than the latter. Life is hard enough as it is. Just know that people are here and they and they care enough to call you on your BS so you can understand, grow, and flourish into the best version of yourself. Shad Gaspard. Sh uh, Shad, now, all that sounds right. All that there sounds like a white uh, psychological therapist talking. ACH is being the best version of himself. It's like when you stand up to racism and you are the best ver version of yourself, especially as an educated black man, you know, pe uh, people want to look down or want to try to uh, 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 to discourage uh, your actions or your words. Shad, that shirt was bullshit. That shirt uh, uh, was racist. Just like those stewardess on the, on the American Airlines who called you and your friends giant gazelles. It wasn't uh, no difference. There was no uh, uh, mental health. I don't think ACH is depressed. Uh, I'd be depressed if I saw him actually accept that shirt and actually come up to, uh, to the main roster wearing it or wearing it on NXT. Then I'd have been depressed. But see, uh, but Shad, once again, you lack the knowledge of self to read between the lines and, and don't see and realize what WWE has done, as well as American Airlines. Both have done the same thing. Racism is racism. You know, being called a giant, a, a giant gazelle and that shirt, same, uh, uh, same similarity. No difference, no difference uh, uh, between them. I'm pretty sure if ACH uh, uh, was on that, was on that airline, somebody might have gotten slapped or, 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 or at least uh, uh, cussed out. Hey, but Shad, if you want to keep sh uh, sugarcoating uh, uh, the obvious and turn a blind eye uh, to it, that's your choice. But that's why people like me and others uh, exist. We call it out. And we stand up like soldiers. Oh, and Shad, like I said, you're famous? Go to Chicago. Make an appointment with Minister Louis Farrakhan and have a long talk. Talk with him in at least an hour, two hours if, if, if even. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Peace.